Hey guys, in this tutorial, we're gonna talk all about how to install uh, your brushes into Photoshop and save them so that you will always have your brushes right there at your fingertips. Now, this tutorial is for Photoshop users CS and CC, so that's Creative Cloud. We do have a separate tutorial for Elements users, and you can check that out there. Um, but let's go ahead and just jump right in and start talking about how to load your brushes into Photoshop. It's very, very easy. So let's go ahead and talk about the first method. Uh, the first way to open your brushes in Photoshop is to um, find your, uh, your action or your brush collection, rather, that you had just purchased from Pretty Actions. Open that folder and you'll find the ABR file. It ends in .abr. Okay, that's your brush file. It is separate from any actions or overlays that you may also have in your collection. So notice how I have my ABR file selected here. It ends in .abr, pretty actions. So I would just double click on that. There we go. And it would automatically uh, appear in your um, brush picker. So you would make sure your brush is selected, open that up. You would find your brushes. Now you would likely need to restart Photoshop for that to happen. Um, they may not appear right away. Okay, so really super simple. Uh, another way to load your brushes is in Photoshop. So I would make sure my brush tool is selected. We're gonna click on our uh, brush picker here. Up at the top options panel, you may have your options panel somewhere else. This is your br brush picker <laughs> where you go in and pick your brushes that you're going to use. So I'm going to pick, uh, select my little menu gear at the top. Yours may just be several lines and uh, that's gonna be the same thing. So let's scroll down and select load brushes, okay? Now this is going to bring the screen up for me so I can go in and navigate again to where I have my brushes saved. So you're gonna find that pretty actions folder. You're gonna open it up and find the, the ABR file. Okay, here's mine. So I would click on it and press open. So now I have um, duplicate brushes because I already had them uh, uploaded into my Photoshop, but they've automatically appeared here. Usually that will happen. Again, you may have to start Photoshop to uh, see your brushes appear in your brush picker. Okay, so two super simple ways. If for some reason the brushes just aren't loading for you in Photoshop, there's another way that you can go in and load your brushes. Again, it just takes a little bit longer, um, but it's still quite simple. So uh, I have a Mac. I'm going to open my Finder. For PC users, you'll want to click on, I believe it's Windows. Um, navigate in your computer to where you have your brushes saved. Okay, open that Pretty Actions folder and select the ABR file, okay? So I've got that open, it's selected. I'm going to open another window, new finder window. There we go, and I just right clicked on that to open. Okay, so I'm going to go to my applications in Windows, I believe it's your C drive. Um, and that's where you find the, the applications and the programs on your computer. Okay, so I'm going to click on my Photoshop folder. There we go. And here I have all the different folders that contain different things for my Photoshop. So I'm going to double click on presets. I'm gonna find my brushes and click on that. Okay, so here I can either click and drag my file and just drop it right in there. If that doesn't work for you, just right click on it select copy, okay, and then right click here and select paste. And I've already got it in there, so I have this pop-up. Um, I'm just going to select stop. I don't need to reload it in, but it will automatically load into your uh, brushes. Now, this method, you will definitely have to restart uh, Photoshop to have the brushes appear in your brushes or your brush picker. Um, so super simple guys. And now once you get your brushes loaded into your brush picker, 
you want to make sure they stay there. Sometimes Photoshop will um, you know, have a glitch or restart and you'll go back in, you're ready to use your brush and it's not there. And then you have to you know, install them or download them into your brush picker all over again and it's it's just, you know, it can be frustrating. So why not save them to have them in your uh, brush picker always so you don't have to worry about losing them. So to do that, again, you wanna have your brush selected, click on your little brush picker here, and we're gonna click on the gear and select preset manager. So these are all of the brushes that I currently have. Um, I have a lot of duplicates down here at the bottom uh, just from the tutorial, but that's okay. Uh, so I would select the brushes that I want to save. Now you can uh, shift click all of the brushes that you wanna save, or you know, just uh, if you've already saved some, then just select the, the new ones that you wanna save. So let's just say I wanna save these five. Um, I shift, uh, shift clicked uh, all the ones that I want to save. And then I would select Save Set, and I can name the brushes, you know, just whatever you want, pretty actions. Uh, and then I would hit Save. Now I've already saved these, so I'm not going to save again. I'm just going to press Cancel. And your brushes will always be there for you. So definitely make sure that you go in and save your brushes after installing them. Um, and I really hope this tutorial has helped with the whole uh, brush process with uploading and saving. It's really super simple and super easy. And now you can go have fun with your brushes.